Hello, lovely friends, and welcome. I'm Sarah Liz, and today we're going to make a quick Father's Day card. Uh, we're going to keep it pretty simple. I'm using the Altenew Bold Alphabet Dies and the Geek Chic Stamp Set from Fun Stamper's Journey. It's a Spellbinders brand. Um, I asked my husband what his ideal card was like, because I keep asking him. I make masculine cards, and he's like, I don't know if that's masculine. Uh, he said, I don't think patterns are masculine. And I have kind of given up. Like, I just try to pick colors um, and images that I think he will like. So we're going simple here. We're going to see how this works. I'm making a mini slimline card. So it is six and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I'm going to do my stamping on a panel on top because we're going to die cut out of that. So I'm starting with this sort of computer glasses image. My husband is a software guy. He's a super nerd. You guys, he majored in math and computer science. Um, and that was, you know, 20 something years ago, back when computers were still barely hooked up to the internet. So then I am adding this heart that has like a little circuit on it. I thought that would be fun. I'm using... Uh, my Versifying Claire ink. I wanted to make this simple for stampers who might not have all of the fancy tools. So I'm using a block instead of my um, Misty tool. And honestly, that ink makes it so easy. I always get a good impression the very first time. So now I'm using the grid lines on my mat to line up some masking tape. I'm not inking. I'm just trying to make sure that when I put these letters on my card, they're going to be straight. I cut them out of just some scratch cardstock. Um, I printed something on the back. I didn't need to use it. That was a mistake. Just a heads up. The temporary adhesive I'm using to line up these letters pulled some of that toner ink off the paper. It made it a little bit messy to peel off later. Um, I love this bold alpha die set because the sides have like a straight edge on them. And then you can use the bottom line of like the D, the far right line of the A to line up a perfectly straight line along the bottom. So I'm just spacing them out ideally just enough that I can fit two dies at a time because why crank it through the machine more than once if you don't have to. Um, I do have a Gemini Junior. I didn't use it for this project. I used my Spellbinders Platinum 6 because it doesn't press quite as hard. It cuts beautifully, but I didn't want to end up with a ridge around the die that was leaving an impression in the cardstock. I just wanted the letters cut out, uh, and this did an awesome job, right? I was able to remove the dies really easily. The cut was great. Um, as I'm removing my letters, I'm making sure to keep the inside pieces of the D's and the A because we're going to piece those back in later when we go to assemble the card itself. So here I've cut out that second D uh, and we're just about ready to get started. As I'm peeling this back, I use Micropore tape. It's super, super cheap. Um, I think I bought a case of like 24 rolls for $4 or something. And I find that if I make sure to kind of roll it, peel it back very carefully, um, I don't have any problems. So now I'm going to use my Barely Art Glue, and I'm just going to attach this card front panel to my card base. I'm not adding any extra dimension at this point. It's just going on there flat. Um, I forgot to get like the little tabby behind the A, the little lines between the Ds, so I'm going back in. Um, I love this glue, you guys. It's got the fine tip bottle, but it came with an extra like honey bear size of glue refill and I barely put a dent in it. I've had it for over a year. So now I'm adding in um, just one of the D's because I want to line up that middle piece. Honestly, this way didn't work quite as well as how I'm going to line up the A next. So don't do it this way. Um, then I'm going to stack up the D's. I have cut out two from Accent Opaque 120 pound cardstock. It is the thickest, fluffiest cardstock you've ever met. 
so you can get that dimension pretty easily without having to die cut a million pieces. Um, and so I had to go back in on like the piece that was cut out of our card front panel and remove a bunch of that extra sticky. So I'm just using my adhesive eraser. This is the tricky part. When I, I went to line up the other two Ds on top of the first one, it took a lot of fiddling to really get that straight. So when I go to do the A, I'm placing the first A in, but then I'm just going to adhere down the middle and then pop that A right back out so that when I stack the three pieces, it's so much easier to get them lined up perfectly. And then I can pop them back in to the card base right over the top. I don't know about you guys, but Father's Day <laughs> is gets sort of the afterthought in my house for my dad, my father-in-law, my husband. My husband's birthday is always like a week, 10 days from Father's Day. This year, you guys, he's turning 40. I'm working on an epic card, I hope. I probably shouldn't put that on the video because he came in the other day. He's like, I've watched all of your YouTube videos. Uh, there are two uh, prior to this, <laughs> but I was sort of stunned. I was pleasantly surprised. Um, and then he heaped praise on me. He's an awesome guy. Um, but I mean, I got to make a really cool card. My plans are super grand, but I, I don't know if they're going to work. We'll find out. Maybe I'll make a video. Um, but I'll probably have to make it twice if I want to do that. So I got done adhering that. I've got some nice dimension um, with the DAD. I love it. But then I felt like it still needed like one more thing. So I'm going to add a little bit of splatter and I'm using that same blue ink, the Versifying Claire ink, but it doesn't really work if you just mix it with water. So I used my stays on cleaner. Honestly, I wouldn't do that. If I splattered again, I would just use some isopropyl alcohol to thin that out. Um, the stays on cleaner left like a little smeary business that I, I didn't like so much. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you liked the card. Um, go ahead and hit the like thumbs up button. Maybe subscribe. I've I'm working on plans for more videos. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you do for Father's Day in your house. What kind of cards are you making? I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again.